trying to figure out what else I want to ask. Who do I want to ask you? Ask away, honey. Hey, queens! I am so excited for this second video of Queen's Chat because I have a very special guest here who is near and dear to my heart. And the topic that we are going to discuss today is all about motherhood. And you know, Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday and I just had to have as my special second guest, none other than my mommy, my mommy Deshauna. Girl, don't ever call you Deshauna. I know, you're not I know. supposed to. Okay. Well, my mommy, mommy, <laughs> uh, she clearly doesn't have a first name when it comes to me, so. Well, thank you, mommy, thank for you. coming on to Queen's TV and, you know, imparting some wisdom with all of us about motherhood. Um, so the one caveat that we have on today's episode is that she cannot be extra. She's extra. Like, if y'all think that I'm extra, here's where I got it from. Hi guys. <laughs> Mom, to kick off all of this lovely chatting that we're about to do, I wanted to ask you, what has been one of the most rewarding parts of being a mother? Well, for me, the most rewarding part of being a mother is watching God mm -hmm. prove all of our critics wrong. Mm -hmm. Because Yes. A lot of people had such negative views oh, absolutely. of not only me, but my children. Oh, absolutely. And they all thought that my kids would not amount to anything. Mm. And so what's been rewarding for me is witnessing mm -hmm. what God has done mm -hmm. in each of you all's mm -hmm. lives. How what the devil meant for bad. Mm -hmm. God turned it around, he used it for good, yeah. and he has just catapulted each of you mm -hmm. to a level of success that has made me so very proud yeah. just to see God move in you all's lives strategically like he has, yeah. has been beyond yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like, he has done some phenomenal things, yeah. and I mean, some of it is just nothing short of just miraculous. Right, like, right. you know, really watching you, you know, be promoted to associate director at the university. <laughs> you know, watching Autumn not only be a business owner, you know, mm -hmm. a successful business owner, but just how God has, has been moving in her life concerning those things. And, you know, just each one of you have just done some things that, you know, have made, you know, motherhood just worth it, mm -hmm. you know, just to see all those things take place in your lives. And it just brings me so much joy, mm -hmm. you know, just watching that. So that has been the most rewarding thing that you've been talked about, mm -hmm. you've been lied on, mm -hmm. you know, you've been abused, mm -hmm. misused, mm -hmm. you know, mistreated mm -hmm. and things like that. But yeah. then to see how God uses that to push you yeah. into the position where your your promise is fulfilled. Yeah. Baby, Come on. all of that makes it worth it. Uh, I agree. Uh, that is one of the things that even when I became pregnant um, with CJ, there were a lot of folks who thought that I wasn't going to even remotely <laughs> be where I am today. And I think I, listening to you now, I know that I get that from you because every decision that I have made has been not only to uplift myself and CJ, but to shut up the mouths of those who have something to say about me. That's right. And okay, I, I definitely know that I get that from you now because that, that has just been what has just really kept me going because if you oh you you think you want to talk about me now i'm gonna give you something to talk about so like, let, me, let me let me give you some <laughs> real good to, talk about, to talk about we've gone through a lot as a family mm -hmm. um it hasn't been without struggle but i think the one of the biggest things that you've taught me is resilience and through everything that you have been through in your own personal life outside of being a mom that has been like one of the mainstays 
of who you are as a woman. You are a very resilient woman and I admire that so much you. about you. Um, so what has kept you resilient through all of the struggles, all of the turmoil that you have gone through in your life? I think just having a strong faith mm -hmm. and belief in God yeah. has been what's kept me. Um, even though I'm, I definitely don't do everything right, mm -hmm. not by far. You know, I'm not a perfect person. Right. I do make mistakes and um, I do I do things that I shouldn't do and yeah. stuff like that. But that has been the one thing that has really kept me grounded. Yeah. It's kept me, you know, just rooted, just knowing that um, nothing is impossible yeah. with God. Mm -hmm. And as long as I have that belief um, and that belief system, mm -hmm. then eventually whatever it is that I'm going through at that moment, it'll soon be over, it'll pass. Because, yeah. you know, troubles don't last always. I know that's a cliche, yeah. you know, but they truly don't last always. Yeah. So I know you mentioned that God helped you with being resilient and, and kind of maintaining that. But when you have been in the struggle, what was the hardest thing about struggling and being a mother? I think the hardest thing for me at that time about struggling and being a mother was having, it, 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 first it was having four little babies mm. all at the same time and being a mom by yourself, yeah. doing it all alone. Yeah. And then I added the fifth child. Mm. <laughs> and so being a mother and doing everything by yourself without the help mm -hmm. of a male role model, role model or a male figure mm -hmm. in the household, it makes it challenging because you're trying as a mother to instill, you know, values yeah. and you're trying to actually um, raise your children up the right way yeah. and teach them things, you know, as far as, um, you know, uh, just... Just teach them, you know, good yeah. morals and different values. things like that. Yeah, values. Value system. Yeah. And um, and so it's 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 challenging when you're just doing it by yourself. Yeah, just absolutely. Just alone. Yeah, you're by yourself. Absolutely, because I'm a single mom, and I I know exactly what that struggle looks and feels like. But I know just watching you continuously overcome, it's also giving me giving me my drive to want to keep pushing even though you know what i'm saying it is extremely hard being a single yeah. parent like definitely girl all right so i want to ask you another question this is probably going to be the most important question that i ask you of all the questions okay. that i have for you today mm -hmm. so my question is which child is your favorite all of you <laughs> i have to give the politically correct Answer. No, we don't have time for the political. See, yes. this, this isn't a politically yes. correct channel. So I need for you to give me the as answer queen, like the real honey, tea. As a queen, honey, I'm going to say that you all are. You all are very, very, very special. And you're all my favorite. Mm. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that answer. No, for real. You guys are all my favorites. For real. You guys, each of you are special in your own rights. You have your own uniqueness about yourselves. And there's something that I love about each of you yeah. more than the other. Because your personalities are different. Yeah. You're just so different, but yet you're so much alike because <laughs> you have so much of me in you. Girl. <laughs> But, um, so I just, I mean, each of y'all, for real. I mean, that's, I mean, that's real tea. Um, faith has been a huge part of our family. You kept us in church when we was little from sunup to sundown, y'all. 5 a.m. in the morning on Saturdays. Uh, what was it? Uh, what was her name? Yolanda Adams or the T.D. Jakes Woman Thou Our Loose Tape was on. And that meant we had to get up and clean. So faith, the church, Jesus, God has been a part of our lives since we was babies, okay? But anyway, faith has been such a big part of our family and um, just a part of our lives in general. How have you navigated your faith while also raising children in a family? I made um, faith the integral part mm -hmm. 
of being a single mother. Mm. I had to. Yeah. Because if that was not included in my lifestyle and in my style of parenting, mm -hmm. I probably would have snapped. Mm. You did. Yes. I would have um, snapped because there's so much pressure, yeah. you know, just yeah. being a mother, period. Mm -hmm. And then being a single mother on top of that, mm -hmm. you know, that's just, uh, just compound, you know, just compiles, you know, even more pressure on. Right. So it had to be, mm -hmm. it had to be the foundation mm -hmm. that was uh, uh, established in my household and in my family. Because if it wasn't, I probably, I wouldn't have made it. Yeah, I just really wouldn't have made it. So I mentioned that one of the things that I most admire about you is your resilience. What is the one thing that you most admire about your mother? Wow, I would say that um, the one thing that I admire most about her is her willingness to love and forgive mm -hmm. beyond the um, hurts and the pains yeah. that she's experienced in yeah. life. Um, she's just got to be the most forgiving person that I know. Mm -hmm. um, she has to be the most uh, loving person that I know. And a lot of people have always said to me, you know, oh, you have such a sweet spirit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so sweet. Mm -hmm. You're so this. And I know that comes from her. One of the things that I think some people know, but not everybody knows, is, and I, I also am beginning to realize that I get this from you as well, is the entrepreneurial spirit. Oh. Um, I, you have been trying some endeavors for as long as I can remember mm -hmm. and have you know put yourself out there in so many different ways when it came to you know starting your own business or you know going after the ideas that you feel like God has given you. Um, so kind of walk me through where where do you feel like that comes from? Why do you, why is being an entrepreneur or really kind of going after your dream something that's important to you? It's important to me because I, I've always been a firm believer that the ideas that were given a lot of times, not all the time, but most of the time are God ideas. Mm -hmm. And there's something that we, we've been put here on the earth to do. Yeah. And so if it's something that we've been put here on the earth to do, then we're not going to be satisfied until we fulfill mm -hmm. that dream or that vision until mm -hmm. we realize that thing. And so for me, I get a lot of drive and um, motivation from just the little things, the little deposits that God makes in my life and things that he allows me to see, the glimpses that he allows me to see yeah. as far as what's possible or yeah. what is going to take place yeah. um, with regard to my dream becoming a reality. Mm -hmm. We talked a little bit about you and your entrepreneurial spirit. What are you doing with that now? So what are, what are some things that you're dipping and dabbing in currently? Uh-oh, now <laughs> you're trying to get into my teeth now. <laughs> oh, girl. No, well, I actually have a t-shirt line that's coming out. Come on, t-shirts. And I'm so, so Super excited yeah. about this t-shirt line because now this one is one of those things, you know how God will drop something in you, girl, he, yeah. give you a little something, you know, right? and you'll be like, oh my God, right. like Lord for real, you giving this to me? <laughs> like little love me? Oh my God. So it's just that good. Yeah. The idea, the concept and everything that he has given me surrounding it, yeah. I'm like, hurry up. We Come on, let's get it. Let's right. bring this thing out. And it's one of those things where you just really get so excited, yeah. but yet you have to be impatient. You have to be patient as well. Right. Yeah. I've done some projects. You know, I've been, I've written two books. Mm -hmm. I'm actually in the process of uh, being a part of a collaboration with another young lady, um, a book collaboration mm -hmm. that she has going on. So I'm going to be a part of that project. But um, just actually, um, doing this for some reason this one is really yeah. i'm excited about it and i know that it's going to just really do phenomenal and you mentioned a community of women and why that is so important 
I, I think that as well. That's one of the reasons why I started Queens TV, New Queens, all of that, because I am very big on women being in community and uplifting and empowering one another. Uh, what are some of the ways that you um, to kind of seek to not only form your own community of women, but to help empower other women as well? I am a huge motivator. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. You are. I am a huge cheerleader and yes. fan of everybody doing what they're supposed yeah. to be doing. Yep. So I try to motivate and encourage people mm -hmm. to go after their mm -hmm. dreams. I don't care, you know, what it takes for you to do what you have to do, what you've been created to do. Get out there and do it. Which is why motivating and you motivating other women is so important because as we encounter those failures, we need women like you who kind of help pick us back up and keep us going. And so, last question that I have for you is, what is one piece of advice that you would give um, other other women uh, who are either becoming mothers, who are single mothers? What is one piece of motherly advice that you would give? Not to be so hard on yourself. Mm -hmm. Just be kind to yourself yeah. because I think that we sometimes make things a lot harder yeah. than we really should. It would be so much better if we don't beat up on ourselves, yeah. if we don't compare ourselves yeah. to other people. Yeah and make it seem like we have to do it this way and that way. And if we don't have this, you know, uh, routine or this regimen that we're living by or doing things by, then we're a bad parent. Yeah. Well, I thank you, Madre, thank you for, yeah, for yeah. being on this episode of Queen's Chat and giving us a little tea and yeah. advice on yeah. motherhood because I feel like if there is anyone who can kind of uplift and give us the advice and wisdom that we need it is you because you, you have been through so much and I love you so much oh. thank you all for watching I hope that you enjoyed listening to my mother speak as much as I do on a daily basis now you all see where I get my extra this from not me I need it for birdie. <laughs> See, all of that's still extra. We're still extra. Like, that was the first caveat of the whole thing. So, I hope you all enjoyed, like I said before. And I can't wait to see y'all on the next video. Bye. Bye.